Today we are going to create this awesome split slide transition inside the free version of the Vinci Resolve and I'll also be sharing project files in a community post but it will be available for the channel members only. So if you are interested you can join it just in 29 rupees. Alright let's get started. So here I am on the edit page of the Vinci Resolve and as you can see I have already added this click with these two markers. Now these two markers are really important for this transition so make sure to add them according to the music you have. Then simply go to media pool and drag your second clip to the timeline. Place it where your first marker is, then simply press Alt and left click and drag to make a copy of it. Alright, now simply go to the second marker and simply click here and trim it down to the point where your second marker is. Alright, now simply click on this second clip, then from the menu, look for open in fusion page. Click to open it. Alright, so once you are in fusion, you will have something like this. Now simply click on this media in one node and add a rectangle mask to it. Then go to the inspector and we are going to change the width. So simply click on this box and drag it until it fits the gap properly. Okay. Now what we are going to do is double click on this Y offset box. Then type the value 0.75. Then simply click here once and it will move the mask upwards. Now let's animate it. Click on this media in one node and add a transform node to it. Alright. Now simply move to frame 0. Then go to the inspector. And here you will see this center X wall. We are going to animate the X. So add a keyframe to it. Then simply click on this X box and drag it until the clip disappears from the view. Alright. Now simply move to frame 15 because this is the point where our second clip will appear. Now move to the inspector and double click on this X box. Then change the value back to 0.5. Click here once to apply the change. Now let me set the preview area by dragging this box. Now simply go to frame 0. Double click here and play it. So we'll have something like this. Which isn't actually looking bad. But of course we can make it better and faster by changing its curve. So let's do this. Simply go to this top right section and you will see this spline icon. Simply click to open it. Alright. On the spline tab select this transform box. Then go to the right side and click on this zoom to fit icon. And it will make your keyframes visible. Now simply select the keyframes. Then press S on your keyboard. Okay. Now follow me. Simply select this bottom handle and drag it somewhere like this. Then select this top handle and move it somewhere like here. Okay. Now go to frame 0 and play it. So we'll have something like this. Now it's looking much more smoother and faster. This is what we needed. Alright. Now let's add motion blur to make it even more better. First of all, let me close this spline tab. And here you will see this setting icon. Click to open it and at the bottom you will see the motion blur. Tick the box then change the quality to 10 and also change the shutter angle to all the way up. Now if you want you can also change the center bias but I am going to keep it as it is. Alright now let's play it again. So we'll have something like this which is actually looking pretty cool. And with this we are done with the first part. Now let's do the second part. So simply go to this edit page. Now simply move the playhead on top of this third clip and open the fusion page. Okay. So we are going to repeat the same thing for this clip as well. Add a rectangle mask to it. Then go to the inspector and increase the width to all the way up. Now this time we have to move the mask to the bottom. So double click on this Y box and change the value to 0.25. Simply click here once to apply it. Okay. Now let's just animate it. Simply click on this media in one node and add a transform node to it. Go to frame 0 which is frame 15 for this one. Then go to the inspector and add a keyframe for center xy. And this time drag the edge value to the left until it disappears. Now simply move to frame 30. Go to the inspector and double click on this x box. Then change the value to 0.5. Click here once and it will appear. Alright. Now let's open this spline tab. Select this transform box. Go to right side and click on the zoom to fit icon. Select the keyframes. Then press S on your keyboard. Now follow me. Click on this bottom handle. Move it somewhere like this. Click on this top handle. And drag it somewhere around here. Keep them closer just like before. Then close the spline tab. Now simply open this setting tab. Select the motion blur. Increase the quality to all the way up. And also increase the shutter angle to all the way up. Now let me set the preview area. Go to frame 0. Double click here and play it. So we'll have something like this. Which is actually looking pretty cool. And technically we are done with this strict slide transition. But of course the video won't end here. Because I am going to show you a few different things. That will make the effect even more smoother and better. So let's do this. Simply click on this edit page icon to open it. Now the next thing we are going to do is select these two clips. Then press D on your keyboard to disable them. Alright. Now simply move your playhead to this first marker. Then open the fusion page. Okay. So what you want to do here is make this clip a little bit of desaturated as the transition starts. And also we are going to make it a little bit of darker as well. With this media in one node selected. Add a color character node to it. And make sure that you are at frame 30. Because this is where our animation starts. Now simply go to inspector and scroll down a little bit. And you will see the saturation. So add a keyframe for it. And also add a keyframe for the gain. Then go to this last frame. 
and simply decrease the saturation to all the way zero and also decrease the gain a little bit to make it darker so let's see mm, i guess somewhere around 0.2 looks good enough now simply open the spline tab select the saturation box click on the zoom to fit icon now select the keyframes then press S on your keyboard. Now we want the animation to be a little bit of faster in the beginning. So for that, simply click on this top handle and move it as I am doing. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Move it a little bit of upwards. Now you see, I am trying to click here, but I cannot click it because we have this marker. So for these cases, you can simply click here and move it a little bit. Then click on this handle and drag it upwards. Let's see. Somewhere around here. And also I am to do the same for the gain. So double click on the saturation box to disable it. Then click on this gain box. Now click on the zoom to fit icon. Select the keyframes. Then press S on your keyboard. And just like before, create a similar curve. Let's see. Move it a little bit up upwards. Alright. Now you can place the marker as before. Close this spline tab. Now simply go to the edit page. Okay, so first thing first, press D on second to make this to clip appear. Then go to the end of this to clip. Then press O on your keyboard and it will adjust the preview area. Now simply go to frame 0 and play it. So as you can see, as this to clip appears, our first clip becomes a little bit of darker and desaturated. That's what we needed. Okay, now the next thing we are going to do is add a little bit of zoom in animation on our top two clips. And also we are going to make it a little bit of desaturated as well. First thing first, simply select these two clips right click on it and in the menu simply move to this top section and you will see this new compound clip option click here now you can rename it if you want but i am going to keep it as it is so i will simply press enter to save it and as you can see now we have a compound clip that contains these two clips inside it so that's what we needed to do all right now simply click on this fusion page icon to open it okay so for this one we want to add a little bit of zoom in animation so we have to use the transform node simply click to add it now go to frame zero then go to the inspector and add a keyframe for size. Now simply go to the slash frame and add another keyframe. And from here, we are going to move 15 frames backward. So 63 minus 15 will be frame 48. So I will simply go there. So on this frame, I will simply increase the size a little bit. Double click on this box and change the size to let's see 1.1. I will simply click here and it will have something like this. Now let's go to this last frame. And at this point, I will simply decrease the size to all the way to zero. Now you might see that our clip has totally disappeared, but don't worry, we are going to fix it. Simply open this spline tab, then select the size box, click on the zoom to fit icon. Now, what you are going to do is simply select this last two keyframes, then press S on your keyboard, and now just follow me. Simply click here and move it somewhere like this, and also click on this top handle and move it somewhere like this. Okay, now close the spline tab. Then simply click on the settings icon, click on this motion blur box, increase the quality to all the way up and also increase the shutter angle. And you will see we have something like this but of course we want it to appear on the full screen. Go to this control tab and you will see this edges option. Simply click here and change the edges to mirror and we will have something like this. Alright, now simply go to frame 0, double click here and play it. So we will have something like this which is actually looking pretty cool. Mm, but I guess I'll increase the size for this middle keyframe to make this zoom a little bit more better. So let's do this. Simply click on this transform node, then go to this middle keyframe, then simply click on this box and change the zoom to 1.2. Okay. And also, I think I'll open this spline tab and simply take this handle and move it a little bit downwards. So something like this. Okay. Now let's go to frame 0, close the spline tab and play it. Let's see. Okay, so now it's looking better than before. So this is how you do the zoom in animation. Now let's create this saturation animation, okay? Simply click on this transform node and add a color character node to it. And then simply move to frame 15 because this is where our second clip will appear, okay? At this point, go to the inspector, scroll down and add a keyframe for the saturation and also add a keyframe for gain. Now simply move to this last frame and decrease the saturation to all the way zero and also decrease the gain a little bit, let's see, somewhere around here. Alright, now simply open this spline tab. First thing first, deselect this transform box by double clicking on it. Then deselect this gain box. Simply click on this zoom to fit icon. Select the keyframes. Then press S on your keyboard. Okay, I'll simply repeat the same curve as me click here. And drag it somewhere like this. And I guess we have to move this marker a little bit. Click on this handle and move it a little bit upwards, just like this. Now deselect the saturation box, click on this gain box and just like before, click on the zoom to fit icon, select the keyframes and then press S on your keyboard and repeat the same curl as me. Let's see, okay? Move the marker back to its press. Now let's just close the spline tab and go to the edit page. Now let's move to frame 0 and play it. 
So, we'll have something like this. And that's how you create a smooth split slide transition inside the free version of the Winter Resolve. Now, if this video was helpful, then give it a like and also subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch out my other videos for more content. I'll see you in the next one. So, see ya.